Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. So right now we have Wave application fee, Wave admin free, admin fee, one month um, free rent. So even if he decided not to move into July, if he do his application and everything now, all of that will apply for him in July. Now, I don't know how long they're going to keep the uh, free rent. It may end the end of this month. I don't know yet. You know, they haven't told us. But if he can do the application, it's not going to cost anything. So I'll give him credit. And, um, you know, then that gets him in for the free month. But how does that work with people, since you moved, how does that work with um, people that are moving where, do they have to show that they already have a job here? You know, that's the kind of thing they're trying to figure out the logistics of all that. You um, know? They can just show that they, they're working right now where they are. Mm -hmm. If they have the income to uh, qualify, I don't think it would be an issue. Because yeah. I yeah, money in the bank and all that, but because some some places, especially up in Maryland, um, they're so picky that they want you to have a job. If like let's say you're moving to Delaware, mm -hmm. they want you to have a Delaware job, you know, and they won't they won't even take people unless yeah. I'm okay. like, well, what do you got to do? Go go live in a you know this you know live in your car. Until yeah, you live in your car until you get a if job. You, if, and they got secure he, jobs, for, you know. Yeah, if he can provide uh, paycheck stubs for three months, bank statements. They can mark out anything on the bank statements that we only look for direct deposit from the job. And if their income qualifies, we're not looking at anything else. We run the credit, right? but we're looking for, when we run the credit, I'll be real honest, evictions. Um, right. If you're not paying your light bill and you have collections on there for um, utilities, right. because you have to be able to get, mm -hmm. to even move into our apartment, you have to show us that you got Power lights, you know. Right. That's it. It's so easy. Wow. Okay. I was stressed about it when I moved here. It was the easiest thing I ever done. At, um, from any place I've ever lived. I was going to say, so you can relate to how hard it is. It was so easy, like. Especially coming this far, it's, so it's kind of hard to, you know. Yeah. But that's good to know. And how long, like, let's say someone would apply, mm -hmm. how long, like, um, that's what they're trying to figure. How long would Before that? They know. Like, let's say they. They find out that they think they can move for July, but then they have to change it to September. Like, how does that all work? Okay, so if they... And I'll have them call you, because yeah. they they're not really sure at this if point. If they think that they're going to move in July and they do their application for July, but because they're out of town... Right. My manager's pretty flexible. If you let her know in advance that I don't know if I'm going to be able right. to Right. It's all about communication. Yeah. Just letting them know. Yeah. Okay. All so right. the, the last thing they want to do is... Do everything else, get everything else situated, and then don't sign the lease. Like they can apply, they can get you know everything switched over, whatever they have to do, but don't sign the lease yet because we're still trying to figure out when we're going to move. So if something happens in July, they decide they can't take the apartment, then we'll um, put them up for the uh, apartment that comes up in September. Right, right. Yeah. Just put put that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that's good to know. Yep. They can at least get the process started. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah.